The state capture inquiry comes to a head on Monday as uh, former President Jacob Zuma takes uh, the witness stand. He's accused of having presided over the state capture project or having enabled it. No one has uh, brought direct evidence of Zuma's involvement, but his friends, the Guptas, are being fingered as the masterminds ostensibly with his approval or his knowledge. Uh, Zuma's supporters are expected to gather outside the venue. Dominating the headlines for months now, evidence before the State Capture Commission has numbed, surprised, reinforced theories, and cast doubt and aspersions, and much more. The one person everyone wants to hear from is former President Jacob Zuma. His name has repeatedly come up during testimonies. With his well-documented friendship with the Guptas, a common thread. When the first meeting happened, I, I very distinctly remember uh, Mr. Uh, Ajay Gupta uh, telling the president that, look, sir, we're calling it ANN7, and uh, this is just like you suggested. And we're putting a 7 because ANN was already taken, so uh, we did the next best thing, which is put a, a numeric at the end of it, and uh, we, we found that, that that name was not taken, so we decided to take that. Uh, and President Zuma uh, seemed to uh, appreciate that a lot. Former GCIS head Temba Maseko testified about being instructed by Zuma to help the Guptas. He said many others had similar experiences. There are a number of uh, senior public servants, middle managers, who have had experiences uh, with um, a number of individuals, including the Gupta family. But it could also be pertaining to the conduct and behavior of the uh, political bosses, ministers and MECs and premiers, uh, who could be willing to, who have information, who may be willing to give that information to your commission. The firing of Ntlantanene, allegedly influenced by the Guptas, and the subsequent backlash forced Zuma to reappoint Pravin Godan. During that conversation, uh, former President Zuma indicated that he was of the view that Mr. Van Rooyen was suitable for the finance minister position. Uh, I think he said he checked his CV with various people. Law enforcement agencies like the NPA also featured prominently. Former boss Mulis Nasana said he was forced out of his position. Chair, I, at no stage did I make a request. Um, to vacate the office uh, to the president, to the former president, um, um, Mr. Jacob Zuma. And that letter of the 10th that is referred to here, I was also involved in drafting that letter, uh, confirming the, the, the discussions that we had had uh, with, uh, with the president. Zuma is also expected to be quizzed on the testimonies of former ministers like Nene and Barbara Hogan, as well as many others who implicated him. But it's the singing of former Bosasa COO Angelo Agritzi, which showed that the Guptas are not the only ones fingered in the state capture project. Gavin was quite um, open. Gavin Watson would tell us that he's paying a 300,000 rand a month, and um, he was... He always say he hopes he, that she's giving it to, to Zuma. Um, and the payment was for the foundation, apparently. Um, Which foundation? For the Jacob Zuma Foundation. The ball is now in the former president's court. Over the next few days, Zuma will have an opportunity to set the record straight. On Monday, uh, it's another big day for you, uh, headed uh, to the Commission of Inquiry to State Capture. Are you uh, ready for that to give your side of the story? It's not clear what the format of his testimony will be and if he will respond directly to questions. He's expected to be represented by his legal team, led by Den Mancha. Mzandi Limbech, SAPC News, Johannesburg.